Hello and welcome to another Near Running Cast. As always, my name is Johnny, and I'm joined once again by James. Hayley and James. Yep, good. Um, and in this video, we're into the elimination rounds of the 32-person invite-only uh, BMW Finals that took place in Darksville in London in September. Um, the top prize of which was a stipend for the winner to go to Worlds and represent um, the UK. I guess we should mention, although I probably have mentioned in previous videos, the BMW stands for Bring Another Brit to Worlds. That's, yep. that's why. I keep saying it, and it sounds like gibberish when I say it so fast. But in this video, we have on the left... Rob Thompson, Mendax, um, playing NEH, and on the right hand side we have Laurie Poulter, who, yeah, Laurie, who is Laurie Poulter, L Poulter, yeah. playing as Gabe. Um, both of these guys are really good players, it's fair to say. Yeah, uh, Mendax qualified from his local BABW leg at Bristol. Um, That's right. Whereas Rob just, uh, sorry, uh, Laurie, Laurie pillaged his way through Norwich. <laughs> he went to Norwich, yeah. Uh, along with Tigor. Um Yeah, although he plays highly at Reading and probably some others. Yeah, so I mean, sure it wasn't have. like he wasn't going to qualify. No, Norwich was just one of the first, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so um, you do need to find out for NEH as quickly as possible if it's Bush Shop build, but I think everyone involved in this knows it's not. Rob did play Bush Shop at Reading, but that's very unusual he's, he's for him. He's known more as a fast advance player. He does play a lot of fast advance, yeah. Uh, so I think Laurie, now Laurie's good. he'll be careful, but he'll kind of go in assuming that's the case, and as soon as he sees a sniff of influence that suggests it's not Bush Shop. I'll make note. Um, so Daily business show is such a good card. Is that so? Let's let's talk about some of these assets. Now we're going to see a lot. We're going to see a lot of asset spam. Uh, it's fair to say out of this. Do you trash a pad? So this dirty laundry, for instance, um, could trash the pad. In, in criminal, I'm not sure. Maybe you do. Uh, if you can use security testing and stuff to keep your finances going, mm. or if you can siphon them down to zero, then you can take away their drip economy, which makes it very difficult to get back up to the money required to res, say, a Santan or what, um, score with a biotic labor. What about a daily business show? Um, uh, I think that whether you trash a daily business show is dependent on your amount of R&D pressure. If you have high R&D pressure, you can leave it because it will dig them into a hole, showing you fresh access at every turn. But at this point, if you have the money, I would trash it because it's going to let Rob pick and choose yeah, how it's gonna he gets it. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, Laurie's installed a Yog, uh, which will be able to uh, get through for free. The Enigma Defending HQ, which means you can and, get and in. And the pop-up, right? So uh, and the pop-up, sure, yeah. I mean, the, the cost of the pop-up will be giving any HQ credit, but yeah, you can break it for free. Um, and he's going to have a couple of runs on HQ. This is San San, yeah. So it's possible to trash it. I yeah. Can't trash that at five yeah. Grams, you don't want to go to zero, I suppose. Um, that's true. You at least want to make him waste the click to install it before trashing it. Yeah. So he's checking the remotes. Um, although it's become a bit of a memory game. There's so many cards. But he's getting paid for it because Desperado is a disgusting card. That's true. Well, no. He's getting paid for it. It's true. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So um, both both guys. Playing quite quickly, it's fair to say as well. They're both top level players. Um, and they know each other well. And yeah, they can make fast decisions. Uh, another check on HQ, still sees the sand sand. Do you trash it with eight credits? No, Maybe, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> it's tough, just tough to do, isn't it? There's one on the well, table. There's one on the table. Do you trash so that one? No. Laurie doesn't. Laurie's you might consider it. Um, Rob you, is you, don't, you don't trash it when, when he has three credits. Okay. You, you trash it when he has eight or nine, maybe. Is that, could that be too late? Well,. You, you trash it before he gets to the threshold. Right, I see. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay. Um, so we're also going to stack pads just for a bit of cleanliness. The threshold for anyone that doesn't know is eight credits. Well, yeah, so six to res. Um, and then two to yeah. score an agenda three. Yes. Well, a three two agenda, but those are the only ones they'll be scoring. That's true, yeah. Much. Yeah. Okay, so another check on HQ. Let's see what we've got. Architects, that is that is a face check architect, which means it yeah, will fire. Tough. So. Um, let's see, from the architect. Um, he saw a pad, architect, wraparound, NAPD, and hedge fund. So he installed a piece of fast key. Probably uh, the wraparound. Wraparound, I think it was, yeah. And he, which means he draws the pad from the NEH ability. Um, and he installed Jackson Herald as well, from archives. So the wraparound temporarily keeps uh, Laurie's economy slightly weaker because he's not getting his game credits. Yes, that's true. Access is on it. Yeah, um, but the, leaving the architect up would have done that anyway, right? It just stops him potentially siphoning. Yeah, I mean HQ is a real uh, source of credits for Gabe. Um, you know, yeah. it's yeah, and a lot of decks can rely on being able to get into HQ. Um, so he needs to dig. So he's going to trash uh, trash some pads. 
Yep, so I think this is trash pretty strong pass. play because trash he's, he's trashing them at, at three, a cost of three rather than four. Mm -hmm. um, it's keeping Rob's economy low, and if he's keeping his economy low, he can't score any agendas. Uh, and on click five, Laurie, and sort of drug dealer. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all right. You do wrong click one, I forgot. So, uh, meanwhile, Rob is going to... Uh, he DBS, he took a hedge fund over an NPD. Um... But he's just going to stall for a draw and take two credits. Oh, you'd always so take up. a hedge fund over an APD, I think, in this kind of a deck. So he's got an Astro in hand. Um, that's worth noting. Yeah, uh, and there's a sand sand on the table. So as soon as he gets up to eight, as you say, eight being the magic number, he'll be able to lose it. Uh, Laura's going to check and see a pad, which he will leave. Um, but he's still willing to check. I mean, being able to check remotes while clicking for credits is good. It's showing, I, I don't think that Rob is the kind of player that would put a naked agenda down. Um, no, he's, I mean, he's a very conservative player in some ways. Well, Laurie seems willing to check but yeah, anyway. And, and so. The point is, Laurie is showing him that he's willing to check, and yeah. obviously there's no downside to it he with gets Desperado. A yeah. So, basically, that kind of plan is normally off the table. Um, okay, so... Um, Laurie is and still a fairy. I'm going to see a pad res. Yeah. So, uh, now's the time to trash it for Laurie if he had enough money, which he does, but it's probably going to leave him on... Well, Laurie, Laurie did trash DBS as well, so yeah. he's pressuring, but he's very he's doing the poor. Right thing. He's yeah, trashing, he's very trashing poor. the assets, but a lot more dirty laundries and the like. I mean, he's got a siphon in hand, you can see. Security testing, you probably love that. Security right? testing would be good. I mean, I assume it's in his deck. I'm gonna assume there's may three copies. In I the assume deck. so, but I'm, may not be. Um, he's got a siphon in hand, so yeah, he's gonna check HQ. See a wraparound. Okay, so the fairy will deal with the architect once. So a corroder will. Um, be able to get him to HQ at least once so he can land a siphon. Uh, He's happy for Rob to res that here just because um, it's zero. Is on zero credits again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it is a hard end of the run, so he's going to struggle. He's just taking if credits. You, if you trash the pad here, then you're on zero, but he's on zero. And... So, we've got a special order for presumably a Corrida, but let's find out. Yeah. Corrida, she installs on click four. So, um, Rob. Gets credit and a normal non DBS draw. Um, and sweeps for a net five, very yeah. nice because a drug dealer. Well, suddenly he's got money again. Yeah, and into so a hedge as well. Last turn of credit, sweeps for yeah, No, it was, wasn't. He's got a click left, doesn't he? Yeah, so, yeah. he jacks in the last click. Yeah, so a very nice turnaround there to get from one to ten. To ten, yeah. Two, reasonable. two clicks. Seems reasonable. Yeah, seems pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Can't complain there. Sweet Sweet's an amazing card. Like it just doesn't it doesn't get enough um, commentary about it because yeah. everyone just already knows, but it is fantastic. It is really good. Even without the kind of weird edge cases of runners having more than five cards. But the it, thing is it's know. an economy card that costs you one to play. Um, uh, yes, it's cheap. Which means buying. that you can get your yeah. economy off the ground if you've been siphoned back to zero. And it will regularly get you three or four credits. Yeah. yeah. It's just a fantastic piece. Okay, so uh, Lorris can check some remotes. Sees, uh, sees DBS, he saw a sand sandwich. He didn't so get the money here, he couldn't so that afford he it. Can siphon. Yeah, but now he can siphon because there's one to break wraparound, one to break uh, architect with a fairy. So he can pay the two to land the siphon and take five, except that uh, Rob will obviously have everything. a window to res. And he, we know there's a sand sand and daily business show at least on the table. So um, he can he can, he can can res stuff and minimise the impact of the, uh, of the siphon, which is good play. Yes, perfect um, defense, really, in a lot of ways. Um, Laurie plays Siphon anyway. It's not. It doesn't make it. That doesn't make playing Siphon a bad play. You still are going to get gave money, and you're still going to get some money. And you, you force him and you back down to, to zero. low credits, right? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, very low credits with a Santa on the table is still it's bad. Fine. Yeah, it's yeah. fine for the corporation at that point. Yeah. So I mean, I think I think Laurie needed to. So he does. Uh, uh, Laurie's up to seven. He does have two tags. And drug dealer will draw him a card. Do you trash drug dealer? Um, Rob might consider it. He's not rich enough right now. He's not now, rich now. He's not yeah. bothered about it. But I think in, in the future, if you have the opportunity to, you should. Hmm. So it, then, then Laurie has to draw manually. Because he's probably a draw engineer. It'll cost him clicks instead of credits. Which is fine, because that's yeah. clicks he's not using for gaining money or checking your remotes or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So Laurie has to have a think about trashing the sand sand now because Rob's on three credits, which with a red sand sand is enough to score an Astro script. I should mention also that uh, I highlighted Laurie's misplay a few turns ago where he took five clicks. In the last turn, he only took three clicks. That's so he's, he's it, absolved. Sure. <laughs> okay, so... Um, special, special order for a, yeah, for a mimic. Uh, so this will break 
Architect, which means he can get to HQ for three credits. He would gain three, so he can effectively run for free, as long as he has three credits. Uh, only, check the, the remote. only the first time, right? It's it's the gigs, uh, gigs, only the first time, yeah. It's one, one per run after that, yeah. So he checks Cyberdex, he leaves it there. Obviously he has no uh, worry. He might, You might think he has a data sucker with the Anarch Suite, but obviously not. He's a Baltic, uh, which not, you'd not love to get rid of that. But, yeah, really. Rob can't afford it at the moment anyway. Big, kind of irrelevant with a red sound sound on the board. And he gets DBS draw. <clears throat> so uh, he took another DBS there over Jackson Scores Howard. The the he's going to score the Astro. Not, yeah. not sure why uh, why Laurie installed the Mimic last turn rather than trashing the sound sound. Yeah, um, you like you'd like to see. Sansan I, w- I would have liked to see that trashed and preventing Rob from scoring this Astro script. In many ways, because um, he couldn't res another Sansan and he couldn't use the Biotic Labor. So, well, in many ways, Laurie was probably hoping um, he didn't have the Astro in hand, or he's also had an access. Maybe he's hoping to hit an agenda. It's been a while. Maybe. He, might, he might think there are agendas in hand. Um, yeah. In- Rob's been aggressively DBSing, so he's That's only true. got what he wants in his hand, really. And there's a, a Jackson online as well, so I won't be yeah. surprised if there's gens in the bin. Um, there's a lot in the bin, actually, it looks like. There is a lot in the bin, yeah. Okay, so uh, Laurie on the back foot a little bit here with the Res Sansan and the Astro token. He, he, has, he has the full rig out. He, he's not scared of any of the ice that um, Rob is packing. Yeah, really but he's, he's, he hasn't got the economy to fund, you know, multiple yeah. runs a turn. That's his. That's a big weakness he's got at the moment. Uh, and um, as we see, Rob declined to take a bill. Um, Rob, if he wants, can score agendas off the top of the deck. Now he can also pick and choose when he gets those agendas. Instead, Rob, Rob managing so to his take the money, here. which I think is fine. Yeah. He, you've got a hedge in hand. It'd be nice to play it. Um, and then you know, next turn he can take an agenda if he gets one. Are you- you're not you're not worried about Beal. I mean, if you can score it through a Sansan, you're okay. I mean, Laurie has trashed the Sansan now, which yeah. was the right call. Uh, that's true, yeah. Um, he's got breaking news in hand, um, Rob, so he can score that. <clears throat> okay, so uh, what does Laurie do here? He doesn't have to pay for drugs because he hasn't got any money, so he, no credit loss. But yeah, I mean, you get your card whether zero. you pay the drug dealer or not, right? Oh, no, it's that's kind weird. of a bit unthematic. Yeah. Or maybe they keep stringing you along in the hope that your, yeah. your addiction will continue. Would it be weird if it gave you, like, a net damage if you can pay the credit or something? I think that'd be awesome. Oh, meat damage rather than net, yeah, yeah. that'd be pretty funny. Yeah. Um, it'd yeah. make it a worse card, for it sure. It would make it a worse card, but... yeah. It'd be more thematic. Okay, uh, so tough decisions for Laurie here. He's on zero, so he's going to struggle. Uh, he's going to take two credits. Not even running to take the credits, but I, mean, I think he knows what all the cards are anyway. Uh, he's going to run uh, Jackson. So Rob, in a better position now for scoring agendas, is probably going to shuffle any that he left out with Jackson. Yep, Back through. that's fair. Uh, so uh, the reason he's using it is because Laurie has the Desperado, he would have three on access. So even though he only has two now, it, he could was still threatening the trash. So Rob's going to use the Jackson. Um, let's see what returns. Uh, three face downs, Yeah, that? three face down cards, so we don't know what. So one more click left for Laurie. Let's see what he does. It's tough. It'd be nice for him to be able to pressure R&D a bit more. So he's going to check this. There's another Jackson. He's going to threaten the trash. Uh, Rob just discussing. Rob's clarifying that he can actually trash it, so he's going to have a think if he's going to use it. He does. Oh, two Jacksons, one turn. Yeah. Um, but he's not really worried. He's not going to discard agendas now anyway, right? So. Two pads and what, like a hedge fund probably? Sansan. Sansan, yeah, yeah. Sense. So two passes and Sansan go back in. Reasonable, these are cards you can install for draws. Yeah, and, get some money, yeah. get stuff. Makes Laurie poor if he has to trash them. Threaten scores. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so he's still got the, the Astro counter, so he can score three twos at hand, obviously. He's still got breaking news in hand. It'll be interesting to see if he scores that. Um, okay, he's got to check his own remotes. So he's going to pad and double DBS. Let's see, he's, gonna, he's got a, offered a wraparound or a breaking news. Uh, keeps the wrap around because yeah, he has a breaking news in hand. News, yeah. He's already got one. Um, be interesting to see if he scores it. He's going to stall for a draw. He's, so he doesn't score it because he installs us in archives. Just uh, shoring up central is assuming that Laurie is playing a uh, sneak door, which is not not an unfair assumption. Yeah. Okay. So Rob trashed the same old thing as well, which is interesting. Yeah. Uh, just because he can uh, to avoid. Don't, don't get siphoned. Yeah. Avoid no when there's not much stuff to raise. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's fair. Um, still, a, yeah. still a CVS, Jeez. sorry. Yeah. 
That's oh, insane. You'd like to trash it, but yeah. you can't afford it. So he's at four. Okay. So there's. I mean, Rob can raise the San San, if, especially if you've got a shipment from San San, something like that. They could square the Agendas freely. Yeah, yeah, that's um, true. It's a good card, actually. Yeah. So getting uh, two cards. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a couple in the deck. So Laurie, so, straight through yeah, and grab quite, the deal. Quite luckily, um, but he, he, you know, you get the access, you, you get your luck. So uh, he does have the bill, he's on the board. We're going to see another DBS draw, so we're going to get triple, uh, sorry, double DBS now. So he's going to see three cards. Uh, he saw a pad marked accounts in a sweeps week. Use the pad. The right call. I mean, it's installable, it's money. I mean, I'm, it's I, might have, I might have taken the sweep sweep because. Because a drug dealer. <laughs> Well, yeah, and also if he siphons you to zero, you've got some way of coming back. But. Yeah, maybe you're right. He's got some siphon protection I, on the board, I guess. He's in a Rob's in a pretty strong position now. Looks like he's got two bar six in hand. Yikes! Could score in an APD, shall I? Why not? Well, Can't there's it, a few few reasons. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he's installed a third piece of arsenal R and D. Um, the first two pop ups. Third pop up. <laughs> Nothing too it's threatening. Probably another architect. Yeah, nothing threatening. Um, okay. Is there any risk of an itchy, something like that? No, not in Rob's deck. Because the influence we've seen quite a lot of. Uh, uh, he's playing three architects, two biotic, maybe. Hmm. So he's an architect, good call. Um, so he can use the mimic, uh, install the fairy just in case it was something he can deal with. Um, <clears throat> and he sees an NPD, but he can't steal it. No, Laurie, no. Oh, Laurie. Okay, Rob so giving away information for free yeah, because cards. of his agitated <laughs> hand shuffling. Please stop it, guys. It's not necessary. Um, Lawrence can check the remote, see the pad, but he won't trash it. He could, but he won't. Mm, rather than maybe not. I think you you rather have credit yourself. Take his credit. So uh, you can get double pad and uh, three cards from DBS. <clears throat> when you're seeing three with a DBS, you can just draw whatever you want, really, yeah, don't you? <laughs> pretty obscene. <clears throat> just another good one influence yellow card. Yeah. Yeah, so it scores the second Astro. Yeah, so Astro Chain. So that's the second one. Uh, he's still got the Astro Counter, of course, from, from the second Astro. So he's on so four points. So I think points. he's got... Is that a Beal and a Breaking News in hand? So he's got potentially the win available yeah. to him? Yeah, uh, he's definitely got Breaking News. I Yeah, you think you're right. I think it was so I think, a Beal. I think you score the Breaking News before a Beal here because there's only two one-pointers in your deck. Um, whereas You're worried about him taking it? Yeah, there's plenty of other three for twos that you can score if necessary. Um, well, there's another two, right? Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. Because if you use the bill, you're probably using up your. Yeah, you're using Astro. your Astro token. Um, he does have Barty. He's not in a position to yeah, play. Yeah, I mean, it. he's yeah. he's okay. Yeah. He's, he's got options. I think I, I would choose the breaking news if I was scoring the next agenda. But. Yeah. Okay, so that is an Astro. Well, Ooh, that okay, might, that might change yeah. things a so little gonna bit. So he's going to check again. So uh, unfortunately, he's also just giving Rob money to play the Bartic Labors. Yeah. Because that's the power of pop up. Pop up such a good piece he can, of ice. He can break them for free. I'll, I'll miss it a hell of a lot when it gets rotated. <laughs> Sorry, you got, you got a while. Not yeah, I'll just quit after yeah. that goes. That Ooh, card goes. Wow. <laughs> That's quite the You reaction. heard it here first. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, both players on four points, but that doesn't really tell the story of the, the kind of... Um, the momentum. I mean, it's an interesting situation. Laurie has no money, is the problem. Um, but you never know. A couple of lucky runs on HQ. Like, there is a breaking news that's been hanging around for a bit. Um, yeah, Rob's, could Rob's not pushing these out as fast as maybe he could have done. Imagine if he could have stolen that NEPD. It's I know. Yeah. I know, Johnny. Yikes. Okay, so... Rob's having a bit of a think. I mean, Laurie knows that Rob was running NEPDs as well, so... Maybe he's having to think about which one to score first. Well, I had a, I mean, had a discussion opinion, about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, that, that Astro still probably changes the thought a little bit. You can you can still score a you can still score a three two for a sun sign if you have to right so or through a biotic. Okay, so um, yes, yeah, so Laurie finished turn by just taking credit, and we're going to get some uh, classic DBS action. It's just the DBS trains kind of run away with yeah. him. I mean, I think I think you still score the breaking news here because you can double biotic uh, an NAPD if you really need to. Yep, and it's breaking news. Yep, very good. good choice, I think. Um, and he's getting two credits a turn as well, so yeah, exactly. the likelihood of being able to play Baltic fine. and the Astro Counter is Astro all... Counter, yeah. yeah, he can just single Baltic Astro Counter in an APD now if he needs to. But he's got a Beal in hand, yeah. Know, so. I mean, oh, he's got both. So, in fact, he can't yeah. lose. Well, um, I mean, we could, could lose. If there's some Laurie's siphoning or something, both. yeah. But or yeah. Gets, gets rid of some yeah. money, yeah. 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 Or he's up against it, like, or sure. Or Laurie picks some out of R&D, but there's probably not that many left. In but he's got to pick him out of HQ, right, to stop him winning. 
Yeah, I mean, we could go from four to eight points. We could, yeah, right. sure we could. He's got no multi-access yeah, on show. You never know, he might have one Maker's Eye or something. Not likely, but... That's pretty good. Cool. He might have one R&D interface. He might have R&D interface is more likely, I think, than Maker's, but... Um, let's see. Can you hear Joey in the background there talking about a risk? <laughs> okay, so... Um, take some economy... Checking R and D's in here. Yeah. yeah. So you can get him for free. well, yeah. Uh, access to access, that's no good. That's an unfriendly access. And yeah. then that's game pretty much okay, at this point. And drugs. And is it game? We get tooth pad and let's see. Well he's got the agenda Rob, right. Rob yeah, taking like the that. formalities of sorting all his triggers and, and then like, just yeah, shows I got, I got yeah. loads of agendas, yeah. Alright. Um, right, let's well say played it's the by Rob there. Um, yeah, yeah. Laurie Laurie I hope he was running security testing, but a bit unlucky not to find it. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of ran away a little bit from from Laurie. The the kind of asset spam, you know, it costs you a lot of clicks to check all the remotes, and you couldn't really keep up with it, and you, you couldn't keep the economy down, you know. Yeah, I, th I think a single security testing there would have really helped Laurie out. So the the early architect in HQ was really interesting because it it set up um, at least one fire for any H draws and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and it also dissuaded you know Laurie from running against even with Mimic it's two to break and the wraparound bought him a few turns as well so well, and it, it Gabe didn't pay to, out yeah exactly Gabe's ID didn't, didn't do as much work as it might have done yeah um, and the um, you know the account siphon because of the number of assets available the account siphon yeah, didn't, wasn't maximised yeah, because wasn't Rob could big. defend yeah. by spending his money um, yeah good. so good NEH play and good anti-siphon play as well yeah um, well Rob, Rob knows like, how to play around siphon he plays it enough on his end as a runner so it's true yeah yeah um, yeah, okay, all right. Um, so Laurie, unlucky maybe, rather than bad play. He um, kind of did what he maybe, could with what I he mean, had. But Rob, Rob does, played that game pretty optimally, I think. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's not a lot of decisions Laurie could have made differently. I, I think the I think the turn where the Astro trainer got, the Astro, the first Astro got scored, where Laurie opted to install a Mimic and kind of dirtle a Trying little bit rather HQ. than just trashing yeah. the Sand Sand and keeping Rob on no credits. Yeah, yeah, I think that's reasonable. Um I think that, that yeah. was the turning point from my mind in that game. Yeah, okay. Yes, okay, all right. Well, um, so Laurel will drop into the loser's bracket, but we will see him again in the loser's bracket in a bit. Um, we'll also see Mendex in the future as well. I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. his guys deck. Yeah. Um, okay, but in our next video, we're going to have footage from uh, round two, in which we'll see Dave Hoyland. Uh, well known UK net yes. celebrity, yeah. Yeah, net celebrity for sure. Um, playing as NEH. NEH, that's quite a strange one for Dave. More of an RP, or was an RP player? I think I think he was doing well more recently at this HP. point, really. Maybe you're right, maybe you're right. Um, he, he, I think he, he knew he was going whether he won the stipend or not. Yeah, okay. So I think he was just kind of trying to feel out what he thought was the best corp deck. Yeah, and this was obviously. Film Critic had come out at this point and it was so a pain off for the table. RP, yeah. yeah. Uh, and this was obviously a high level tournament a lot of good players yeah, so it's, it's a, a good, perfect time it's a good for field. testing if you know you're already going to make the travel yeah make the make the trip no matter what yeah so. uh, and he was playing uh, against Joey you can see Joey return with his noise more more not I'd have to I cut out a lot of Anarchs <laughs> because I'm sick of Anarchs after that running tourney well, but there's still some uh, yeah so Joey's I would, I would love so. noise to rotate out to be honest <laughs> Ooh. Not gonna happen. oh wow damning words alright uh, so we're going to see uh, Jerry's noise against uh, Dave's NEH. That'd be uh, that's quite an interesting one. Noise against NEH is quite a uh, uh, wrap around. We, is a pain for fast. Yeah, we can assume it's a uh, fast advance NEH. Oh no, maybe not. I, you can't make that assumption. Yeah, because Dave, Dave could be testing anything. Yeah, okay. So he, Joe he have played to uh, find he played Scorch well. NEH well before Butcher Shop was a a thing at Worlds last year. So mm. yeah, okay. All right, I'm looking forward to that. So, uh, I'll very quickly mention that if you uh, would like to watch any more of our videos, you can, of course, at the website, neoreddinggrid.co.uk. Um, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well. If you are generous, then uh, by all means, please contribute to our Patreon campaign that supports the channel and improves the videos. Um, all contributions are accepted. And um, that's it. There's good stuff out there, and you should type Near Redding Grid into all the social media networks you can. Thank you, James, <laughs> for uh, helping me um, commentate this video. Thank you, John. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.